Hi, it's uh, Marco Catania again, uh, representing Charles Sturt University uh, with another study aid for the subject ITI 597 and that's the subject that covers IT service management. And in this topic we're going to have a closer look at the topic uh, service provider. What's a service provider exactly? Mm, there are lots of animated slides after this one. But for now, eh, we need to look at like the definition of a service provider. So what is a service provider? It says here, a service provider is an organization, eh, slash business, supplying services to one or more internal or external customers. Eh, so you're either providing services to like other functions within your own organization, or you're providing services to like other organizations. When a service provider is predominantly providing IT services, it's often referred to as the IT service provider. So service provider, uh, feel free to use it interchangeably here with IT service provider. Okay, so here we have a customer and the customer represents the business. Okay, and the business is like running their business processes, like booking people on like commercial flights or selling insurances to like external customers out there. Now, of course, to run your business processes, typically nowadays uh, you will need like one or more IT services to support your business processes. Now, the idea is that the business actually formalizes their so-called service level requirements. The service level requirements are more or less like the functional criteria. Hey, this is what we need from you guys IT to support the business. So once the service level requirements are properly identified by the business, then it's time for the IT service provider to make a judgment call like, can we actually provide against all these requirements? Do we have the right IT infrastructure in place? Do we have the right hardware, software, people, capabilities, resources in place to provide against these requirements? Of course, you'll be looking at your internal teams. Uh, you may have like a service desk, a, a technical management team, an application management team, like an, an IT service operations team in place uh, that you use, for example, to provide your services or part of the services. Now, of course, if you have a whole bunch of teams within IT, they need to work together. And the idea is that these teams actually establish like so-called operational level agreements. Uh, this is how we work together so we can optimally provide these services to the business, to the customer. Now you will see that often uh, you don't have all the capabilities like internally in place. Sometimes you may have to go like to an external supplier to support, uh, to actually provide a number of supporting services, additional services that you can't provide with your own people, with your own capabilities. So in a scenario where you have to work with external suppliers, you will have to create so-called contracts. A contract is like a legal entity uh, that formalizes the relationship between your organization as service provider and the, and, and the external entity, uh, the supplier. Now, once you've got like your internal teams and external teams uh, properly like aligned with each other, uh, all the contracts and OLAs are properly aligned with each other, uh, then you can start to make a call on whether or not, for example, you can actually deliver against the requirements from the business. And that's where we move into the so-called like SLA mode. And now we're talking about like, hey, let's create like a service level agreement. Let's actually formalize it. This is what we're going to provide to you, customer. Is this okay with you? And that's where you start the whole negotiation process. But that's also like for a, a couple of other slides in the future, okay? There's one for one more thing I need to show you. I think it's hopefully the next one. Yeah, you, you've probably noticed that this is there's an, a nice cyclic model uh, in this slide. We're really like moving from the business, uh, creating requirements, moving in IT, aligning internal teams, aligning external teams, and then finally uh, we, we're moving towards like delivering services against service level agreement targets. So it's it's really like it's aligning. Uh, it's definitely about aligning the service provider with the requirements that come from the customer. The question like, am I a service provider or am I a customer? To be honest, I think there's only one real answer. <laughs> it depends, okay? It depends like uh, from what point are you actually looking? Um, what do I mean? If I'm a service provider, I'm often providing services uh, to my own internal functions, my own internal business units. But they are using my services to sell their products and their services to their customers, yeah, often like the external customer. And this goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. 
and, and probably at some stage some other service provider out there is actually also like providing services to me again so it all depends like a what what function what area am I actually looking at and that will determine hey I'm now providing or I'm now actually receiving services the service value chain or the product value chain I'll show you all the boxes okay the story goes like this if I invest in my own internal IT organization in my own infrastructure and my own people then my people should become like more satisfied in doing their job they will stay longer and become more productive but also they will start to provide like better services to my customers uh, being internal or external customers but that means my customers will become like happier and therefore typically more loyal and also if my customers become happier they typically also become more productive and it, it actually like creates like revenue growth and profitability and not only for my customers but typically also for IT so in other words like being happy internal typically also means like being happy external yeah what's up doc uh, practice what you preach hey getting to understand the relative position of being a service provider can as an organization I'm pretty sure that you'll be providing services to your customer but to whom are you a customer and to whom are your customers actually service providers so in other words if I'm a training organization can I am a customer of like a company that's like binding my course materials and a company providing catering if I'm for example providing classroom based training but I am providing my training to the tourism industry and like the insurance industry and they are also selling services to like their customers so it's all about understanding like what do I get and what do I provide and what do I receive so think about this question okay Yo, it's time for a sample question. Hey, question. Uh, which one of the following statements is correct regarding a service provider? Hey, answer A. Service providers only deliver services to internal customers. Answer B. A service provider can't be a customer. C. An agreement between service provider and customer should be established. And answer D. Service providers always charge for the services being delivered to the customer. I think about the, the answer for a couple of seconds and then we'll move on. Okay, well the answer is answer C. An agreement between service provider and customer should be established and that agreement is typically known as a service level agreement. Okay. So in the next topic, uh, we're going to talk about the concept of a supplier, a supplier being an organization, an external organization, uh, providing services to the IT service provider, uh, so the IT service provider can provide their services to the customer. Hey, until then, uh, live long and prosper, and you know this one already, I'll be back.